If you're on Mac, this is something you need. You can get a free version of it, or there's a paid version too. But it's this thing called Alfred. I don't know if any of you guys know about this. This app is freaking incredible. This is now my go-to. What Alfred is, it's a lot of different things. It's essentially a spotlight search on steroids. When I hold down command and space, this little window comes up and I can type in anything. If I wanna find project files, I can type in project files and it'll come up. I mean, Spotlight does it, but this is lightning fast. So if I type in project files and I hit the right arrow, it will actually navigate to it right then and there. Samples, future knock, drums that knock. Very easy to navigate. Another thing you can do with Alfred, I have it set up so if I hit command period, that window will pop up and I can easily and quickly move a file. So you can move a file right from that window or a group of files. I have it set up so if I type in SPK and hit enter, it gives me all my audio devices. So I can switch in between audio devices. And on the right here, if I hit command one, command two, command three, it will quickly go to that device. You can set it up to open apps. Say I have a bunch of stuff on the screen open. If I wanna quickly focus on Ableton, I hit a smart key and it'll focus on Ableton. If I wanna open up the console in UAD, I just hit a key command and it opened up the console. I have it set up for control command A for Ableton and C for console. So it's like shortcuts right from your keyboard. Quickly load up apps, load up a Safari window, a new finder window, like all these things are customizable to keyboard shortcuts. As far as workflow goes, that's been my theme in a lot of ways, keyboard shortcuts. In Ableton, I have Shortcut Buddy. If I hit number one, I get Auto Filter. Number two is RC20. You know what I mean? I have it set up so everything is really fast. And you might not understand the power of this, but it is super powerful to have immediate shortcuts that you use. So, like I'm saying in Alfred, you can set up all your keyboard shortcuts. Another thing, if you have links that you use a lot, you can set it up so your links are all in a list. For example, if I want to link drums at knock, I have it in a list of links. I just have to hit a shortcut and I can browse all my links. You don't have to like copy and paste links all the time. It's already in there. Say I want to go to YouTube. I have a key command that goes directly to my YouTube dashboard. I have a key command that loads up my Twitch dashboard. Control command R. Boom, and we're in my Twitch dashboard. You can load up infinite key commands to launch anything on your computer very quickly. So if I want to switch from my Apollo to my AirPods, I have a key command to do that. If I want to load Apple Music, Control Command 2. Boom, Apple Music's right there. And if I hit Control Command 2, and I want to rearrange the windows a little bit, boom, I can do that. Put Ableton in focus, boom or however you want to do it. Boom, boom. You can copy multiple items and then paste them in a sequence. So that could be good when you're like doing your taxes or something like that. My bad for any of you guys who are not Mac users, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone who has Mac, this is for you. Man, I cannot get down with PC right now. I just don't like Windows. I don't like Windows. If I look at Alfred, I installed it January 5th and I use it 245 times per day. I've used it 2400 times. This shows you how much I use it. You can get this for free and you can also upgrade to a paid version if you want some of the extra features. In this app, you can basically automate whatever you want. If you go to workflows, you can automate whatever you want. I have an automation to launch my Pro Tools plugins folder because I can never find it. So for me, when I type in PT, it's going to launch the plugin folder. So you can set it up with a keyword or you can do trigger hotkey and you can set up a hotkey to open it. So basically, this is how it looks. You can use it to launch like something as simple like a Safari window or to change your system sound. I don't know how to do this, all this script and everything. You can go to a website and just type in Alfred scripts and you can download all these scripts for free. So that's another thing I wanted to show you guys. That's Alfred.